Animal Lifeline Pittsburgh's mission is simple. Volunteers working to save homeless pets across the United States and beyond. They provide help for at-risk animals through a number of programs, including, including fostering and adoptions. And today they've brought us two adorable pups and they are looking for a family to call their own. And we made adorable. Look at these two. <laughs> All right, with us today are adoptable dogs, Izzy and Danny, along with Linda Manko and Chris Klasik, the director and adoption coordinator of Animal Lifeline Pittsburgh. So so we want to find out about the dogs in a moment. But first, Linda, tell us about this group and what you guys do. So we are an all foster based organization, all volunteers, um, and we have a couple different um, levels of things that we do. We, we do adoptions. We also do transport. So we bring a lot of our animals up from other areas. Um, and then we also take owner surrenders from locally as well. Um, many of the dogs are from Mississippi, Louisiana, um, somewhere in the south um, that we do have. Izzy actually is a um, local dog. And this is Izzy. This right? is Izzy. Hi, and Izzy. Danny um, came up from Mississippi with his mom and siblings. Aww. So, oh, yeah, okay. so we, we've had them all. They're wonderful dogs. Um, we also have a food bank, a pet food bank that helps the community. Oh, wow. um, and we do a lot with medical needs dogs. So anytime that, um, you know, as long as the funds are available, which we all know we've had, everybody's had tough times after right. COVID, mm -hmm. um, then we do help out anytime that there is a, a medical need uh, in the community or beyond. So, so what great work you guys I are doing. I truly. You. Izzy and Danny, are they, hi Izzy, I know, you are so <laughs> beautiful. Oh. I know, we're looking, we're making eye contact. Mm -hmm. She's it's like, great. Uh, you could take me home, <laughs> She's awesome. Uh, are they available for adoption now? And they how are. is the process, how does the process work? So you would put in an application um, on our website, which is www.animallifelinepgh.org, um, and you would specify which dog. We do have a lot of our dogs listed, but I do always tell people, if you're looking for, um, if you're just beginning your search or you're not sure what you're looking for, put in just a general application because those are the ones we look at first when we, we have dogs in. So if somebody's looking for a small breed, but we don't have a small breed at that time, we kind of hang on to those. but. Um, once a dog gets posted, we usually get a thousand applications, so it's easier to get in there beforehand. Yeah, so. I, I want to ask you about Danny because he's first off, he's look, he's just posing, look at looking his at beard. the camera. His beard yeah. is killing me. That sure. is wonderful. But he came up with his whole family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, how did that story begin? Like, did you get a call from from a shelter in Mississippi? I or? did, and he, um, his mom actually was uh, in a house with a bunch of dogs, so they was a hoarder, okay. and they had all the dogs. Um, Mom was pregnant, and within a day, they, she ended up giving birth after they Aww. took her into their shelter. So uh, that was around Christmas time, and uh, <laughs> right <Aww>. afterwards, <laughs> um, they sent them up to us. So we, we had six puppies, and we had mom, and, uh, and mom is adorable. She is a little fearful, so we're still working with her. Okay. Um, she She's a great dog, 18 pounds, but she, she could... She's got a little nip to her. Okay. <laughs> so, well, we can work through that. We're, we're running out of time that. here, but we do want to talk just very quickly about the adoption event that you have. Is sure. it this upcoming weekend or was it just last weekend? It was just this past weekend. Um, we do, like I said, we do mostly with applications, yeah. but um, occasionally we will um, have everybody come in that is approved already and they'll, you know, meet all the dogs that we have available like we did yesterday. So. Yeah, wonderful. It's fantastic. Yeah. Great work yeah. you guys are doing, well, like David thank said. Thank you. Thank you. And we do lots, of, we do have the thrift store as well so um our thrift store is right in homestead and it is just fantastic it, it's what helps keep these keep dogs these, going and allow going. us to do the transports oh, so sweet and I, know. I love these you. are just such I adorable know. dogs you brought two great dogs we love it well thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you both for coming in today thank you danny and izzy you nailed it for more information on animal lifeline pittsburgh and how you can make a difference go to our website pittsburghtodaylive.com